Problem 18. The midpoints of the four sides of a rectangle are negative 3, comma, 0. There are 2, comma, 0. It is uh, 5, comma, 4, and 0, comma, 4. What is the area of the rectangle? So first, let's just draw out this, this looking shape. It, that's a straight line, that's a straight line, that's a straight line, and obviously that's a straight line. But how do we understand what that rectangle might look like? Well, I don't know. So let's just draw myself a, oh, that's a very bad rectangle. Um, draw ourselves a rectangle, a rough looking one. And these are midpoints, so let's connect it. That's this, that, this, that. That's the rhombus. So let's just um, maneuver a little bit. And we see that if we, if I tilt my head, that's the rhombus looking shape. So it will look something like that, 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 right? So from the makeshift diagram, we know it has to uh, extend this point out. And then we got to uh, extend this point out and then bring this in and then um, bring this in. That's the rectangle that we have. Um, and I just, I didn't know how you do it either. Just draw yourself a figure, tilt your head a little bit, and then, you know, just kind of reconstruct the shape. So now that we reconstructed the shape, how do we find this um, you know, this area. We're trying to find the entire area, by the way. We're not just trying to find the area of the little rhombus in the thing. So we obviously know this line right here. That's very peculiar because we can find it. This is 0, 4, right? This is 2, 0. Um, this is negative 3, 0, and that's 5, 4. So this length, right, let's call it A, A will be equal to the square root from the line formula 16 plus 4, which is root 20. But in a rectangle, right, this height is equal to this side length as well. So basically, we solved the question already. Because if that length is A, then we know that um, this length right here, right, that's equal to root 20. Right? Um, but what about uh, like this like this height right here? Well, we also know that, that, that distance, right? Because if we draw out this diagonal, right, and I call that diagonal B, B will be equal to, from the point formula, 4 minus 0 squared 16 um, plus 5 minus negative 3 squared 64, and that will be equal to root 80. So our final area here, right, this entire segment will be equal to root 80. So that means that the area is equal to, um, area big A, is root 80 times root 20. So in other words, that is equal to root um, 1600, which is equal to root 16, right, times root 100, which must gives you 4 times 10, which therefore gives you 40 as your final answer, bringing you to answer choice C.